We pick up shortly after the last time, the last episode. Uh, we are currently mapping the outer perimeter of this island, and we've gotten quite a bit done. Or I have. You guys just joined up. Oh, am I getting chased now? Okay, these waves are crazy. Uh, I think, is this the edge of the island, actually? Whoa, this, I'm moving. I'm really moving. I lost the island here. Again, I'm trying to I'm trying to map the perimeter here of this island, and it is just way bigger than I thought. Like, just, just really, really, really large. <laughs> and, you know, I, I would like for it to curve back around so I could go back home, because now I have a good uh, idea of, like, where some of the biomes are. We could start doing some proper exploring. Um... But, uh, the island just keeps going. Oh, here we go. Okay, good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's some rocks there. I didn't see those rocks initially because the waves go up and over them, which is amazing, by the way. Whoa, okay. Yep, we're gonna bottom out on that. The wind is on our side. Day 436. So, you guys see, it's days later in-game. I don't remember what it was last time. Where are you, Mike? Oh, God, Top. No. Not right now. I'm solo. <laughs> I'm solo right now, top. I need to s <laughs> Oh man. Where are the rocks? I saw some rocks over here. I'm gonna fly over the helicopter. <laughs> no, I gotta map this out. I'm on a mission. There's some rocks. Turn out of it. And then turn around it. Look at this drift. Look at this. Valheim drift. Valheim drift. Let's see. So the wind is in our favor. Significantly, which is nice for a change because the entire way up, it was not. Uh, that looks like a... Like a plane structure. Hold on a second. Is that planes? It sure looks like it. Oh no, that's a regular house. Is that a regular house? I might go. With, oh gosh, gosh. This is, oh yeah, it's a regular house. Ooh. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, regular house. Oh man, I'm getting beat. I'm getting beat. Oh, that was bad. That was dumb. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Oh snap. Follow me. Follow me. Oh god, the water keeps going up. Okay, yes, come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. Jesus. Whoa. I don't want to have to swim. These guys, damn dwarfs. Whoa! Jesus! I just wanted to see what was in here. Garbage. Woo! Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Let me take care of these guys. Oh, get this up. No! Just out of range. Okay. Oh, man. I mean, I was already kind of losing control of the boat there. It was very difficult to control. So. Ooh! Oh, he missed! I thought he got that. Oh, for a second. Two hundred and eleven damage to that. What? That could have been my face. The log. The log trolls are the. the those are the ones that hurt. That's painful. Yeah, take out that tree, dude. Take out that tree. Then give me your loot. What do you have? Well, we know what he has. He has put some money and patrol hide. Oh, it's the blueberries. Well, this is a pretty little, little mini little peninsula here. I like this. Kind of, that'd be a cool little spot to set up. God, he made a mess. He made the mess. I was just trying to boat. Now, listen, he would have come out there and met me in the water. That's what they do. These guys, they, <laughs> these jerks. Did I wait? Which, what, which, which arrows did I? Okay, good. I, was, I switched to iron head arrows. Um, but yeah, I, I have seen them go pretty far out in the water to attack your boat. So it was like, time to ditch the boat. I was losing control anyways, and I couldn't rely on myself <laughs> to get the job done. So let's ditch the boat, let's get on land, and let's fight. Let's take the fight to him. This is a cool little... I like this, though. Look at this spot. Right across from the starter island, too. It's a pretty nice spot. 
All right, let's get back on the boat here. Now the boat is tossed, isn't it? Oh no, it's fine. I'm not even gonna bother repairing it because that's that's uh, it's not quite there yet. I'll wait. We'll, we'll build up tension, right? We'll see how bad it can get. We gotta do it for the ratings. Okay, is the water gonna go up? Come on, tide. Come on, tide. Oh, you know what? I gotta go forward a little bit first. There you go. Then turn. Okay, and then we go straight. That'll get us out. Pick for the water before the tide goes out. Go, 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 go. Good. Just uh, right around the edge of the island, right into the no wind zone. Look at that. Oh, there's some, uh, some there. Is there something swimming in the water here? Things do. Oh, it's the fish. Things do do swim, like uh, boars and deer and and all that. They do swim. The mobs, like the the uh, the hostile mobs, will um. They typically walk the bottom of the uh of the of the ocean, which is annoying because they'll they will straight up, especially like the bowyers and stuff like that, like the archers. They will archer your shit down from the freaking underwater, and it drives me nuts. So yeah, typical black forest here. We've already we've already skimmed this. I know there's planes here. We have wind going what the opposite direction here? Let me see. Hmm, let me think. You know I know what we're gonna do. I already know this path. And we're going hella slow. We're gonna pick things up. We're gonna go north. I got something for you guys. Maybe we'll see some action along the way, now that I have a half-busted-ass boat. The perfect time to get some action going. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Hopefully the wind stays with us, because we can get moving. What do I have on me? Let me see. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm trying to like, look at things I, could, I, I don't mind um, losing. <laughs> I don't really have anything here that I'm necessarily really in love with. I mean, obviously, one, two, three, that, that would be like just dire. I'd be so upset if I lost that stuff. Um, so we're going to try really hard not to. <laughs> That's the plan. We don't want to lose anything. But if we did, we'd be just a little upset. But yeah, we're flying now. This is good. There's plenty of portals over here. So I can't always uh, dismantle the boat and just bring the parts with me over here and then uh, um, teleport back down to here or back home. No problem. So I don't necessarily have to sit there and go against the wind, an area already already explored. Oh, hey, kiddo. Got the boy here. Tell me something. Tell me something. Go. Hi. Spit it out. Come here. You gotta, you gotta come here. If you're gonna say it, you gotta come over here. I'm okay. a bunch of boss servants uh -huh. that are summoned by the Raider Ultima. Oh, yeah? The Techno Truffle. Okay. The Retriever. Mm hmm. And Orthrus X. Gotcha. Okay. You came in here to tell me that? Yeah. I appreciate it. Now, you know it's bedtime, right? Uh huh. Okay. Give me a kiss. Go to bed. Mm -hmm. Love you. Why don't you go ahead and go pee and all that stuff now? <laughs> you had to come in here and tell me about these bosses in the Age of Age of Ancients Terraria mod. It's very important, guys. <laughs> Number one thing right now. He's been clearing, you know, he's been clearing... If I gotta talk about my son for a minute. Uh, he's been clearing bosses in Ancients, uh, the Ancients Awakened mod and Calamity mod. Which are two like pretty, they're pretty tough uh, uh, encounters. Uh, he's he's actually figured out how to cheese a couple of them, and you know, like if I if I was cheesing a boss on stream, I, I would expect you guys to be kind of disappointed, like kind of like, oh man, oh you cheese the boss, you cheese the boss, you know. But hey, but man. but when he did it, hey buddy, what's up? The stage bosses are now gonna be added again. Okay, good night. <laughs> but when he, you go to bed. But when he does it, I was actually a little proud. Because it was like, oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. You figured out how to cheat something. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> you figured out how to cheat. 
What is this? Oh, it's about to be drawn. It must be somebody's base or something. Sure is. Ah, what is this? Oh, that's right. I put a note here saying that it belonged to somebody, but I don't know who. Well, we should pull in and see who's here. Oh, it's a nice little dock. Let's slow things up a little bit. I don't want to wreck everything as we get in there. Let's go ahead and just cruise. We have a raft. Hmm, this is somebody who abandoned the game then, I'm guessing, because most everybody has at least a tier two. Got some bees. Mm-hmm. Basic stuff. Some meat. This person's either new or... No, they're not new. This is somebody that played just a little bit and then split. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because uh, I have this marked on my map, which means I, I boated past here and I saw it before. And... Oh, they built a little moat. That's cute. Um... And it's still here, so... Hmm. And tier 1 raft also. And this thing's pretty rotted. Let's see how bad this is. Oh, not too bad. Let me see. But since we're near a crafting station... There we go. We might as well. Cool. Well... What's cool about some of these abandoned homes is like... You know, you could tell how, how, how long they've been sitting there by looking at like those planks right there, right? Um... And you could see that, yeah, those things are pretty worn. That's like several, several days. Like maybe, maybe a damn hundred days. Um, it's like a, like a parking police, you know? Like a meter maid or something. You know, they chalk your tires. They'll chalk your tires. They'll come back later to check to see if you've moved. <laughs> if you haven't moved, then, um, then they'll, then that's when they'll go ahead and they'll, they'll tag you. So I have, I have this person marked. So um, I could come back later. And, you know, if I want to, if I, if I happen to come by here again, I could be like, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and just, like, ransack the place. Just because, you know, it's abandoned. No one's playing it. I could just, yeah, I could just take, like, the meats and stuff like that. Not necessarily tear down the buildings or anything, because that person might come back. But, you know, I mean, if you're not playing the game for, like, oh, two weeks or something, then, uh, you know, that's kind of fair game. It just turns into just a whole, a whole nother, a whole nother, uh, like, abandoned, decrepit, <laughs> decaying piece of, uh, uh, of scenery. Alright, here we go. Oh, there's a log right here. Oh, it's okay. We, we just repaired it, so we're good. Crash! Oh, crash! Oh, gosh! It's fine. It's not too bad. Let's see. We're gonna go ahead and put some stuff in here. Um, let me see. We're gonna put, uh... I mean, we don't need... Well, let's see this. Stuff on, stuff on, oh, yeah, like 50 wood. We really don't need that at all. I don't need a swamp key. I don't need mm, that. Um, that's really valuable. I shouldn't put that in there. <laughs> it's like the worst thing to put in there. Uh, let's see. How about this? This. Um, let's see. This. There we go. And I think I could probably build a... Yeah, I can. Cool. We'll put that right there. Oh! There's another house here. I wonder who this is. I'm near the starting-ish area. Yeah, wow, who is this? It's kind of cool. It's like exploring people's worlds and stuff. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this just to let me know that that is there. Oh, there's a couple of... Okay, there's a few beehives. This is definitely a little bit more advanced. Oh, and, and uh, smelter and all that. So definitely more advanced. Be, I, you know, I, I think I should make a rule on the server that people should put, um... Sam's house 2.0! Oh, it's Sam's house! Oh, this is awesome! Oh, there's a portal here. Does it work? Sure does. What is it called? To Boots. Oh, they go to Boots house, huh? I'm just go, let's go browse this place. Sam's house 2.0? Oh, don't want to pick up the ore. I can't really. I don't think I have to wait for it. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm strong. Look at this. Wow, so organized. Hope he doesn't mind that I've been here snooping around. Wood and stone, leather and trophies, food. What do we got for food? What? <laughs> Sam? Oh, wait, baby, it's down here. Oh, I was reading it wrong. Oh, he's got lots of honey. Good on him. That's what I need. I need to get some more honey. More, more bees. I was hoping to get that in this, uh, this voyage that we're, we've been going on. But, you know. Whoops. Just yoink! <laughs> Just, oops, I accidentally stole your stuff. There we go. Huh, this is, this is a nice little plot of land. I like it. It's like right onto the water here. I guess he's gonna be able to dock. Yeah, he's got a dock. Okay, there it is. There's a dock. 
some bees. She steals honey. Let's go. There we go. Look at that. Oh, circumventing your security. <laughs> Eat some food. We're kind of running low on food. <laughs> I, did, I really was not planning on uh, taking such a such a huge adventure here. Like overall, I think the time that I spent uh, since we first started this journey in the last episode, probably about two hours. Um, because there was like a good probably 30 minutes or so that I did not get out of here. Uh, that I did not um, record because it was just me going around the island, you know? Like I actually started recording and I was like, oh god, this is just nothing but going around the island. This is dumb. <laughs> this is not good TV. We gotta go. We gotta cut it out. Which sucks because then I have to use all the same jokes again. <laughs> we gotta clear everything out. No interruptions. Oh! Oh, you sneaky bitch! Mm-hmm. What do I need to summon this guy? What do I need to summon this guy? Oh, I forgot. Oh, shit. I totally forgot. What does he want? Deer trophy? Deer skin? Oh, I don't remember how to summon him. That's the whole reason why I came down here. Let me see. Uh, his name is Ike. I'm looking it up on the other screen here. How you summon? Summoning! Uh, two deer trophies! Son of a bitch! Where are those deer at? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. How's my luck today? How's my luck today? Deer hide, raw meat, no trophy. Okay, how's my luck today? Deer trophy, that's one. Oh, some tr some raspberries. Get out of here. Well, I'll punch. Oh shit, there's two of them. I can fight them both. Fist the cuffs. Let's do this. Let's do this. Next. Let's find another one. I think we can get lucky twice. I don't know if we see next this far away. I forgot that we need it. We've only summoned him once. So I totally forgot the resources we needed for it. We just walk up and just push a button. Yeah, we already did it once. Here you go. Boop boop. Come on, baby. Oh! Sneaky! I didn't even see that one. I hear him. Aha! Another one around. Okay, let's see if we get lucky here. Deer hide, raw meat. Deer hide. Okay. Thankfully, there's a lot of deer here, so getting another deer head shouldn't be too difficult. Some shrooms. I need those. This is good. I, I need some of this resources, so this is good. That sounded like it was directionless. Aha. There was another one. Oh. What's crazy is... The game does a really good job of creating enough separation where you can pick out like the slightest silhouette somewhere. Like that was pretty far away, but still, like it was very visible to to to, to me and to anybody who plays the game. You just learn to pick out those silhouettes, so it makes it really easy to to, to just like scan real quick and then boom, there's one right there. We're gonna go to the other side of him. Other side of the spawn. Nice and wide open here. We're gonna fight his ass in the dark. What is this here? Hmm. A tree, so. 
Somebody killed a, a dwarf. Oh, this looks like a... Uh, summoning circle of some sort? I've heard that there's treasure sometimes in the center of these. We're gonna have to- we're gonna have to give it a go. Yeah, nothing here. Where is it at? I actually really love this part. Like, going out and hunting for meat and deer skin. Like... I don't, uh... Like, I wouldn't go hunting in real life. Like, I've never done that. But, like, in the game, boy, I'm all about it. There it is! There's something about, like, sneaking... And, and so it makes me it makes me kind of have a better understanding of why people hunt. Because uh, keep in mind, like, deer are vermin, right? <laughs> like, in real life, like, they, they will multiply until they basically overrun uh, any communities. So there's a reason why there's hunting season and such. Um, and so, yeah, there, there's definitely a need for some kind of population control. And I'm sorry, I know that that probably hurts some feelings. Bambi, Bambi's mom, I, I get it, I get it. But... <laughs> there's something there, man. Like when you're sneaking around, you're trying to be quiet, and it's early in the morning, the fog's up and everything, you're just like... You're just like trying to, trying your best to, to hunt this thing down. Um, I just think that's like, oh, for some reason, I think it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Like in the game, in the game that is. So I, it makes me understand and maybe not necessarily appreciate too much, but definitely understand a bit more why people hunt in real life. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and build a fire right here. Uh, or I guess I'm not. I'm going to go and chuck this out. I'm going to grab some of this wood I just chopped. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a fire. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna sit next to it. Try not to catch on fire. Um, <clears throat> see, resting. Foods. We're gonna eat that. That frees up a slot. I just wanna free up a little bit of space here. Clear up some of this mess. And then we'll summon this guy and we'll get started. Wait for my comfort bonus to show up. We're gonna fight him in the dark. I like this. Quite the light show. Now, I, I haven't... Uh, when I first fought him, there was like three of us and we, like... We had a bit of a rough time, but we were also all using like basic bitch bows and everything and just just not at all <laughs> good good stuff at all. It was like this bad gear, period. So I am I am genuinely interested in how this is going to uh how this is gonna play out. I'm excited here. You make the sacrifice. Should I tank him? <laughs> here we go. Let's keep our stam up. Oh, you know, I got an idea. I'm gonna use my own buff against him. But I just already take away all of his health. Hold on a second. <laughs> I can't do this now. I took away so much of his health. Oh, man. With the first shot. I might actually try to tank his ass. Hold on. Ooh. I just totally absorbed that. Wow. It's amazing how strong, much stronger I am now. Yeah, let's do Bring it, dude. Bring it. Bring it. Let's go! Oh, I feel so bad, but you know what? I need- I need to do... Oh, man. What if I hit him once? Well, let's get him some more light shows. Let's get some more light shows. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I have his buff now, so I could run circles forever. Let me tell you, man, we- we had a- we had a- not a rough time, but it was definitely a challenge first time we- we fought this guy. <clears throat> oh, I know, I know. I'm gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna melee him. There we go. There's the challenge. Huh, huh, huh. I got Captain America in this bitch. I'm not even gonna block anything. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna kick him. Uh, get out of here. <laughs> uh, block. <laughs> oh snap! I know. Uh, bring it over here. Let's go, Billy Eichler. <laughs> Let's give me this! Give me this! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now oh oh this is even better. Chuck a bomb. Oh god, did I poisoned myself? No, I didn't. I poisoned him. Oh, and this guy's here. No. This guy's harder than the damn boss. Oh! Success. We did it. You little shit. You little sh you did more damage to the boss. How is this possible? <laughs> 
Uh, hard antler. That's something I, I, I feel like I need to collect for some reason. Did I get the trophy? Yes, I did. Guess what? what? We're going to go ahead and plug this in at home. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Well, I think we did a good job, guys. I feel cold. Well, let me go ahead and sit over here. Ah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> Uh, I cannot believe how easy that guy was. I kind of want to go try the Elder now because the Elder one shot me and it was pretty embarrassing. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe maybe in a couple episodes because we've got some other stuff we got to do. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, this is uh, this is uh, Valheim. It's a freaking solid game. It's my new it's my new addiction. And uh, you know, with most of my addictions, I uh, I pass the buck on to you guys. So I hope you enjoy watching and I will see you guys later. Good night.